In the annals of American history, one name stands out above the rest, a name synonymous with wealth, power, and influence. J.P. Morgan, a man who, in his time, held the fate of nations in the palm of his hand. John Pierpont Morgan, born in 1837 into a world of privilege and affluence. His father, Junior Spencer Morgan, a wealthy banker, ensured that John received the best education money could buy. But despite his opulent beginnings, John's childhood was far from idyllic. A sickly child plagued by ailments, he often found solace in studying and reading financial reports. In an unusual move to improve his health, John's father sent him to the remote Azores Islands, alone in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The isolation, coupled with the salty air, was believed to aid in his recovery. By the age of 19, John entered the workforce, working for his father's firm on Wall Street. Yet his risk-taking nature led to conflicts with senior members of the banking house. In 1861, at the age of 24, John struck out on his own, founding his own company. His early years were marked by financial acumen but also controversy, notably his involvement in war profiteering during the American Civil War. As the war raged on, John's influence grew. In 1871, he formed a powerful partnership with Anthony Drexel, creating Drexel Morgan & Co., later known as J.P. Morgan & Co. This marked the beginning of his ascent to financial dominance. John's brilliance lay in his approach to the American railroad system. While others saw cutthroat competition, he envisioned consolidation. His tactic, known as Morganization, involved merging railroads, creating powerful monopolies and reshaping the industry. By 1901, J.P. Morgan had already left an indelible mark on American industry. In a bold move, John acquired Carnegie Steel for a staggering $480 million, merging it with other companies to form U.S. Steel, the world's first billion-dollar corporation. His influence extended beyond steel as he financed Thomas Edison's experiments and played a pivotal role in creating General Electric. His monopolistic practices caught the attention of President Theodore Roosevelt, who took legal action against J.P. Morgan's Northern Securities Corporation. In times of economic crisis, J.P. Morgan emerged as the saviour. He orchestrated plans to stabilise the US economy, showcasing his unprecedented influence 